this is the view at 5 a.m. We're on our way to the Trevi Fountain. Um, waking up at 4.30 a.m. Because we're trying to get there for 5 a.m. <laughs> These seagulls are so chunky. Like bigger than the ones, well, that bigger than the ones in Toronto for sure. That's what it's like at 5 a.m. Absolutely no one. Compared to that day we came at like Sunday, 6 p.m. Packed. Super packed. Better not be anybody there. Actually, like nobody. That was amazing. You get the whole fountain to yourself. Yeah. See all the money too. They clean it every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday morning. So you gotta really know when to come, or else you won't get any of the water. Look at that. Look at that horse. The hair on that horse. The curls. Curls for days. All right, it's time to wish. What am I wishing for? That's it. Time to go. So I also love finding unique snacks at convenience stores. Let me know what your favorite snack is. Look at this fan. It's like weirdly colored. It's a different shade of orange. And I heard it's because um, they actually have 10% of actual orange juice in there. So the color is a little off, but it sounds like it'll taste, it's a little healthier, no? This is Roma Termini. It is super hectic here. For the reviews online and uh, my own personal experiences, this is where pickpocketers love to prey on tourists. Make sure you keep an eye out. This is how packed the train station to Florence is. Uh, I'm gonna try to figure this all out. Give me a little bit of time. <laughs> so our train was delayed by 20 minutes. Oh my gosh. And we were just stuck with everybody. I gotta find box two because that's where my tickets are. Uh, damn, that was like they never complaining about Go Train in Toronto again because uh, that was crazy. I think the whole board was delayed. Like all the, like at least 10 trains are delayed and everyone's just standing there. <laughs> it's amazing. This Italian countryside kind of looks like the Asia rice paddy fields. All right, made it. We're in Florence now. It's so, it's actually colder. Well, colder because like, we're more up north but yeah double layer jacket up it's gonna be a walk to the Airbnb uh, praying that there's no stairs or long climbs for this or else it's uber time it is pouring and oh my god look at that man. trying to walk to the Airbnb I should have gotten a tash should have but it just stopped half, it started at half point, and I guess, I'm like, we should just go all the way. It's just a little bit of water. <laughs> My hair's like, frying out right now. Okay, bye guys. It's Christmas time. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Now our first order of business is to find another delicious meal. Thankfully, this is the most walkable city. You never have to venture far. So we're here to eat the Florentine steak. I want to get it because that's what you eat, Florence. This one. Billy's happy. It's time for the nightly stroll. It's a little drizzling, but it's okay. Look at this door. This door looks freaking amazing. It's so, there's so much detail on it. Oh my god. I can't believe I'm here. I can't believe I'm right here. In Florence, this thing's massive. We're at night and it's uh, less people. It is. And explore more. Alright, I have no clue what's going on. You can see the crowd of police behind me and then in front of me there's this. I don't know, I don't know what's going on. We're just following the crowd.
so I didn't figure out what the heck was going on. Uh, probably have to Google at home because <laughs> there's nothing. Nothing shows up for uh, Florence and uh, what what's going on in Florence and people banging pots and whistles. Nothing. <laughs> Funny enough, nothing showed up on Google. Okay, Florence does uh, pre pre Christmas a lot better. Uh, Black Friday. Right? <laughs> Black Friday is real big here <laughs> too, I guess. Famous bridge, Ponte Vicino. This is it. You see the yellow? Yeah, the yellow accents. It's crazy. So apparently during World War II, uh, what I heard was the Germans took down all these other bridges except for this one. They left this one because it had such significance and value to it. All the shops are closed right now. Yeah, but um, so I have to come during the day because. Look at all these cool designs. I wonder what's in them. And last but not least, we got to get our daily gelato intake. Even when it was 5 degrees outside, I still ordered 6 scoops. The rose milk flavored gelato was the one to die for.